welcome to another video. I thought I would show you my early morning routine. I'm trying to get into a habit of getting up a lot earlier. So on days like this, I usually have an alarm set for around half past five. This was something I actually started doing whilst traveling. So I was away in Australia and I was getting up at 6 a.m. every single day. So I thought I'd try and put it into my routine back at home. The only difference is at home at the moment, at half past five, it is still dark. It's not summer yet. So it does make it a little bit harder to do. As you can see, it's not yet light, but that's okay. I just turn my fairy lights on and kind of get back into bed for a little bit. And the first thing I actually do is just cleanse my face with like my cellar water because no matter how hard I take off mascara, I always have mascara left on. Then I actually do end up getting back into bed. I'm saying I get up at half past five. I actually don't because I don't want to wake up my family. Nobody else really gets up this early unless my dad's going out to work super early. But even then, I don't want to disturb the rest of them. I don't want to wake the dog up. So I tend to stay in my bed and I'll just edit a video or get any work done that I have to do because I actually always feel the most productive first thing in the morning. I really don't struggle with waking up. So I kind of stay in my bed until around 6 a.m. getting up at this time I didn't say I found it easy also look at my hair Oh wow. Now once it has got properly light and I've finished on my laptop in my bed, I will just relocate to my office because I always feel kind of most productive when I'm sat at my desk. So I just turn my fairy lights on, I open the blind and I kind of get myself in a working headspace, especially if this is a weekday. I tend to only do this on a weekday. Like I would not get up at 5.30 on a weekend, absolutely no way. But I will just get on with the work that I was either doing in my bed or I will swap to something different. I kind of like doing different things. If I've like just got up and gone downstairs or just moved to my office, Office, I'll ch start a new task so that I'm not getting bored. My attention span is shocking. Good morning, guys. Hi. <laughs> It is currently 7am, I am in my office, I have been up for about an hour properly because for the first like half an hour, I'm not gonna lie, I was just laying in my bed. But I thought that I would film this, I'm sure I've already explained, because I really wanted to get into the habit of getting up earlier and while I was travelling I was so good at that, I was so on the ball with being up, being out and not letting it phase me, not letting it bother me during the day and I thought this is really something I want to like implement into my day to day life at home. So. I have been trying to do that only really when I need to so it's usually because I'm getting a train or I'm going somewhere in the car really early if I'm down in London usually I have to be there for like 10 a.m and to get down there for 10 a.m I need to leave home at about half past six um which means that obviously I have to get up very early um so I do actually need this kind of skill in my day-to-day -day life anyway so it was something I wanted to work on doing more often just to make sure that I get more stuff done and make the most out of my day because there is literally no point in sleeping in until like 10 or 11 in the morning because you're wasting a lot of your day so it's currently 7am i'm actually gonna put my gym gear on now and head to the gym in around an hour an hour and a half i've actually started doing like spin class and um like body combat and stuff like that at the gym because i find that they're a lot more motivating than just doing a workout and it makes me want to go to the gym so they are usually on at about 9am so i need to be at the gym for about eight if i want to do a workout beforehand um or just nine so i need to leave here at like half a day basically so i'm gonna put my gym stuff on i'm gonna go and have some breakfast but i have actually already got a video edited this morning which is amazing this is ridiculous it's 7am and i've got a video edited by this point my family will usually be starting to get up obviously my brother is still in college so he gets up at different times each day but when i filmed this it was a monday so he was getting up for a 9am and yeah i started to just make my bed tidy my room up ready to go downstairs i always make my bed guys make your bed it makes such a difference i'm such a hypocrite sometimes i forget to do this but a tidy bedroom and a made bed is just a good start to your day and then i put on my gym wear so recently i've been really getting into the gym as i just said and i start each day really with a workout because otherwise i won't go so yeah workout gear on 
My favorite brand to wear to the gym are Fabletics. This is not sponsored by them, but I have worked with them and I am currently working with them over on Instagram, but genuinely I live in Fabletics gym leggings. They're so comfy. And I also haven't taken off this Australia hoodie since I got back. I am refusing to part with Australia. Have you gathered that? Have you realized? Once I'm ready for my workout and my gym session, I head downstairs to make some breakfast. I don't love going to the gym on an empty stomach, if I'm honest. So I just usually make some cereal and a cup of tea. And I'll do this about an hour before I go out because I don't want to work out right after I've eaten. So I usually just make myself and whoever else is up a cup of tea. But on this day, nobody else was up yet. I'm such a fruit on cereal kind of person. Usually I would add a banana, but we actually didn't have any, so I added some raspberries. And then I just sit and eat my breakfast and usually watch BBC News. Like this is kind of my time of the day to catch up with what is going on in the world, which at the moment is always the same news story. So there wasn't really much to watch. Hi. Hi. Come here. Come here. Nope. Hi. <laughs> You've got a sucky mouth. Why have you got a soggy mouth? Have you drank a cup of tea? Oh, bye then. Struggle there. Bye. Bye, Matty. <laughs> Ugh. I am now heading to the gym, it is 8am and I'm going to go just before my workout class to do like a warm up um, and basically I'm going to spin class so if you don't warm up you know about it the next day like it really really hurts Oh somebody taller than me has driven this car <laughs> Yeah so I'm heading to the gym now to do spin class I have made it to the gym, it's such a sunny morning today, it's actually lush, like it hasn't been weather like this for, well, since I got back to the UK it's rained basically every day, there's been some kind of crazy storm, so it's very nice to have some good weather and some sunshine, it's put me in a really good mood, I got up early, I'm feeling productive, and it's also on Monday, so I feel like we've got the week off to the best possible start, I'll move out the light, but yeah, gonna head in now, I have come equipped with my towel, because the first time I did spin I didn't bring a towel, and like, you get sweaty, <laughs> like really, really sweaty, so. So yeah, towel. This was a, a really good purchase. It's a microfiber towel. It was bought for traveling. I never used it while I was traveling, but now it's my gym towel. So I'm sure you really cared about that. If I'm heading to the gym to do a class, which on this day I was, obviously I mentioned I was going to spin, I will usually just do like a warm up on the mats. I don't want to do too much cardio before going into a spin class because that is so much cardio. So I'll just kind of do like abs and stretches and anything that is a little bit easier, but still warms up your muscles. finished spin class i'm actually not too sweaty like you can kind of see it's just my hair like my body my face doesn't really get red luckily touch wood like i don't generally have like that red pigmentation when i do exercise what happens instead is that i just get soaking wet hair and like a really wet face it's actually disgusting um but it was good i felt productive it was actually a different class this morning i don't know if i'd booked onto a different class by mistake or they just switched the classes because the instructor wasn't there however um it was fun it was good I biked 13 miles which if I was to do that on the road I wouldn't be able to do so I don't think it's fully accurate but yeah I'm very out of breath and excited to get home and have a shower now I have showered and put an outfit on I've got I actually really like this outfit it's t-shirt layered up leather trousers bit of a weird one I would like to be wearing a black top underneath it but my black high neck tops in the wash so we've gone for grey um, but I'm just gonna do my hair how I've been wearing it a lot recently I had it like this in my video last week where it was like half up half down with my headband um, and my hoops but as you can see it's gone very very frizzy at the front um from sweating at the gym and i didn't wash my hair in the shower which i know is disgusting but i washed it yesterday and i really i'm trying to get my hair out of the habit of needing to be washed frequently so because of that it means sometimes i do just have to leave it sweaty i know that's disgusting um but my body is clean so it's fine yeah, headband works wonders for all these little baby hairs. If you have a lot of baby hairs, invest in a headband because you might see a difference. Anyway, I'm gonna curl my hair now.
So I've done my hair and makeup. In doing my hair, I realised I've actually broken my headband. So this is way too big for me now. Like it's not sitting on my head. It's just kind of like resting on my head. Um, so I might need to buy another. I can't remember where I got this one though. So that's annoying. I feel like I want to say Primark. Or maybe Topshop. But I'll be a bit annoyed if I spent like £12 on this. But anyway, that's totally besides the point. I have just kind of done my hair. I've put some curls through the bits that you can see. Um, but the back is still kind of damp from spin. Which is actually disgusting. Um, but obviously the top kind of covers it so I'm actually gonna head out now this is kind of where this video concludes but before I end it I just want to show you the curler that I use because whenever I curl my hair I get so so many questions and I can never find a link to this online but this is the Paul Mitchell Neuro wand what was I gonna say barrel oh yeah it's like three in one so I always have this curling barrel on the one that kind of tapers down and it gets thinner at the end but it comes with three barrels a really thin one and a really fat one um, and this is the middle one so yeah this is the hair curling wand I've used for about four years now and I rate it so highly the curls don't drop out at all so yeah that is kind of the end of this I just need to pop on a lip balm or a lip glick a lip glick a lipstick or a lip gloss and then I'm gonna head out and have lunch so that is kind of my morning routine obviously I don't do this every day I don't get up at 5 30 every single day that would be ridiculous but as I mentioned there are days where I genuinely do have to be up at about half past five or six o'clock um so that I can get to where I'm going on time obviously you guys know I live in the north but quite often I work in the south so yeah I thought I would film this and as I mentioned whilst I was away I got in a really good habit of getting up at 6am every day so I thought I could definitely implement it when I got home which is what I've tried to do so I've had a pretty productive morning I'm happy with everything that I've done I'm really happy with the spin class that I went to I'm really enjoying the gym at the minute so if there's any specific like gym related videos that you want to see let me know down in the comments and I shall be back with a brand new video on Saturday it will be Australia vlog number what will we be on by now I think maybe 10 and 11 or 9 and 10 we're nearly getting towards the end of my trip but that will be up on Saturday morning at 11am so don't miss that subscribe down below so that you see it and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it bye guys <laughs>